Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to put a solid background around text and images the easy way, so let's get to it. The only menu that we're going to use today is our text and font, so let's go ahead and open that up. My page is set to inches. Hit T for text. Let's type back to school. F1 to exit out of that easily. All right, let's select everything. Drag this little menu out so you can open it up. The font I'm using is called Casking Cream Script. Use whatever you think is cute. We're gonna select all of our words. Go to Path, Object to Path, then Object, Ungroup. Okay, let's scroll in. Hit control and scroll your mouse wheel up to zoom in. Now at this point, your letters are all separate. So you can change the position of any of your letters. All right, so when you like the position of your letters, select everything and hit control group. Scroll your mouse wheel out to zoom out. Let's grab our images. So I'm just gonna select both of these and copy them. I'm going to place mine here. I think this is a cute position and hit this uh, lower selection to the bottom. In order to import this image, you're going to go to file, import. Then you're going to find wherever you put the file at. You're going to click on it and open it. Leave everything as it is. Hit OK. And of course, they usually come in pretty big, then resize it, and there's your image. Now, I'm not going to use this. That was just for example. Okay, now let's get to the border part. <clears throat> Select everything, make a duplicate, and move it to the side. All right, so let's use everything. And what we want to do first is come in here and try to make everything a union. All right. So let's see, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So go ahead and click Union. And it's telling me down here, one of the objects is not a path. It can't perform the operation. So sometimes this happens and we have to actually zoom in and go in, hit your nodes, select every line. Scroll out a little bit, path, union, perfect. Grab your fill bucket tool. We have a little menu up here we want to take a look at. Fill by visible colors. Threshold is 15. Our grow and shrink is going to be 10. And we want to use a point. So you can use point or pixel, but we're going to use point today. And close gap is going to be none. Bring your paint bucket tool over your shape and select it. All right, it looks crazy now, but that's okay. So let's come down here and change the color to yellow. We wanna just kinda of see what we're doing. Let's hit F1 and our nodes. And now we're just gonna come and kinda of delete all of this space here. Delete, there we go, hit F1 again. Drop that down to the bottom. Okay, so you basically, there you go. You have your outline already. Now we're gonna add a little bit more of an outline. We want two borders, all right? So grab your paint bucket tool. This time we're gonna change our grow rate to three. And hit your outside border. Let's change that color to black black and hit F1 drop it all the way to the bottom there we go okay now we don't need this anymore and we don't need that either so we can delete this here's your outline it's a solid color now grab your shape let me group this together so I can move it easily. You want to be careful not to resize either of these because then they're not going to fit properly. And 
then move your image and your text back on. And that's it. There you go. You have your background with your image in your um, text and you can make a sticker. You can make anything you want. This will easily be traceable in um, design space. Now let's say we just want to check and make sure that everything is a path. Just go to path, object to path. And also we can look under view, display mode, outline. And we see that everything we have is an outline. Perfect. So this is kind of what your cut lines are going to look like if you use Cricut. All right. Good luck and thanks for tuning in, guys.